at the end of the, the Faith Five, right before we go to bed, it is um, just for me, you know, letting go and having this blessing be uh, a bit of God taking care of our kids when we're not there. So, um, you know, I would say, God, God be with you. Um, and just to kind of have them be enveloped by God's love throughout the mm -hmm. night and throughout the next day. So my low is that uh, my project that I was doing on uh, the computer all deleted itself, so I have to redo it at school tomorrow. And my high is that I have no home. It's a verbal way of reminding each other um, that God loves us, that we are a part of our immediate family, but that we're also a part of the church family and we're a part of God's family and I think there's a comfort in that especially at the end of the day heading to bed when a lot of things can weigh on your mind and I hope for our children and I know for me it helps me remember that I can turn to God for a lot of those concerns and that um, I don't need to carry them with me. Now I lay me down to sleep I pray the Lord my soul to keep Well, guard me through the night, you'll wake me with the morning light. Amen. Like you said, comfort, I think it's twofold. One, I think it's sometimes easy for me to get lost in my head and think mm -hmm. that I'm all alone and struggles against this world. And, you know, for our kids, I hope for them it's a reminder that, you know, you're not by yourself. God's with right. you and going to help you. And also, again, for me, it is a reminder that I'm not letting our kids go into the world unprotected and all alone. It is, oh, by the way, remember God, God's with you, protecting them, so. I love you, and Jesus loves you. I love you, and Jesus loves you. Thank you. I love you, and Jesus loves 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 you. <laughs> God bless you and be with you. God bless you and be with you. Just kind of brings our day to a close uh, with the kids remembering that it's, it's God that loves us.